Today on Be Something Wonderful, how to stop reacting and start creating with a powerful analogy. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I've heard of, from a few of you over the last few days that, that saying that events in the 3D world, circumstances that are popping up, are causing you distress. And what's more is you're reacting to them and you're feeling bad about them. And even if you're not reacting out, acting out physically, you're feeling bad about them within. And you're asking me, well, Tom, what, how, how do I get over that? How do I stop reacting? Well, guys, we're going to unpack this today and more. And one of you, I think it was Ava, uh, commented that, that, that she liked the movie uh, analogy. So guys, we're gonna use the movie analogy to really hit this point home. And really, once you hear today the movie analogy, like we've never talked about it before, this will help you stop reacting inwardly as well to th circumstances in the 3D world. So let's unpack it. So by reacting, and I'm not just talking reacting outwardly, I'm talking about your, more importantly, your inner reaction, how you feel about 3D events. By reacting to events and circumstances in the 3D world, you imply that they are separate from you, that you are the effect rather than the cause. Hear this, I'm talking inner reaction, not just outer reaction, how you feel about those events, right? You imply when you react to them, especially in a negative way, right? You imply that they're separate from you, that you are the effect rather than the cause, that you're the victim rather than the creator. Hear this, right? It's like reacting to a movie scene in a film, a film that you wrote, a film that you produced, a film that you directed, and a film that you even acted in. Hear this. You are the producer, the actor, the writer of your own movie, this movie of life, yet you're, you're, you're thinking you're separate from it. It's like going to a movie and reacting to it, right? And when, when you know, and you're saying, that's a terrible movie, I, I, I don't want to see that, but you, yet you directed it, you acted in it, you, you, you produced it. What's more, not even, what's even more than that, that you're the one projecting the film on the big screen of the 3D world of duality. You're the projector. You're the stream of consciousness. You're everything. Hear this. Let's really unpack this. So here's the projector, right? And here's the projection. Here's the stream of consciousness. That's consciousness, right? That's intention. That's beliefs. You're, you're, you're streaming those beliefs, those intentions, that consciousness onto the screen, the 3D screen of, of reality, right? The time-space screen of, of the 3D world, right? The only difference is a movie screen's two-dimensional. This is three-dimensional. It's 3D reality, right? It's time and space. There you are, right? Your thoughts are the picture frames, right? The thoughts are those creative events. You create those events through your thoughts, right? And you're projecting it here out on the screen, right? The dark space of the movie theater is all that is, or infinity, right? It's everything. Right? Think of this, if, if you really wanted, if you were really immersed in a movie and then for suddenly you got afraid or you didn't and you wanted to separate yourself from the movie, you simply got to look up at the stream and know, oh yeah, it's a movie. It's only a movie and you see the stream, right, of consciousness streaming. That's all you have to do. You all, all, all you have to do is go within and identify with that awareness. Identify with, your, with, with, that, with that awareness within to know that your 3D reality is just a projection of consciousness. It is a movie. And you star in the movie, you produce it, you write it. You're the, even the projector of, of the film, right? You pick the script, everything. Like the movie projected on the screen, your physical reality is a projection of your consciousness on the 3D screen of time and space. Hear this. Once you get this, you're going to never react the same way to a 3D event again, I promise you. The movie projected on the screen of your physical reality is a projection of your consciousness on the 3D screen of time and space. The events and circumstances of your life seem to be separate from the stream of consciousness that created them, right? Your events and circumstances, they just feel separate from the stream of consciousness. You who projected them, who wrote them, who directed them, who produced them. Right? Even, even, you're even the projector. Hear this. This is big. See this analogy here, guys. This is huge, right? So the film, the projector, the movie screen create the illusion of a continuous movie experience, 
right? You think it, it create you get involved, you get so in, involved in the movie because it feels real. Where you even have emotions, you might even cry or get afraid or laugh. All of that is creating a, a real life experience for you. It's creating a virtual experience. Well, that's what 3D reality is. It's a virtual experience where you have all the drama, all the laughter, all the pain, all the struggle. It's all there, just like in a movie. Except the movie, you, the movie moving the frames. Remember, in a movie, they're moving the frames faster than you can see, faster than you can perceive it. That's why you perceive it as continuous. That's the same as the 3D world. They're all just frames. And they're, and they're moving faster than you can perceive them. Right? You, you, cannot, you don't even understand. It's just like a movie. They're moving faster than you can see. Right? The illusion creates the real experience of drama, comedy, feeling, emotion. A movie experience creates the same drama, the same feelings, the same emotions as your 3D world. It's the same. It's a movie. Hear this. The, your attention is absorbed in the illusion in order to enjoy it and be entertained. That's why your attention, you don't think about all the scenes, how they were cut and how they were pasted together and, and that it, that's not a real movie set. You don't see any of that, how the movie was put together. You don't see the projector. You, all, you're just looking at the movie. You don't even feel, you stop even recognizing the screen. Hear this, right? Your attention so absorbed in the illusion in order to enjoy it and be entertained. That's the same as the 3D world. You're so absorbed into the reality of 3D, you think it's real. But it, it is real. It's both real and an illusion. What's real to you is what you believe is real. What you project is real. What's an illusion is what you decide what's an illusion. Hear this. It can be both reality and illusion at the same time, just like a movie. A movie is a reality and an illusion. It feels like reality, but it's also an illusion, right? The physical world creates the same illusion of continuity as you get immersed in the 3D movie of physical reality. Hear this, guys. This changes everything for you. I know it. The physical world creates the same illusion of continuity as you get immersed in the 3D movie of physical reality. Just like a movie on the big screen, but it's the big screen of 3D time space. Wow, that's big. So, so you forget about the film frames, the projector, the theater, the fact that they are actors, etc., to enjoy the movie experience is real. Right? That's why this analogy works. It almost works perfectly, other than the screen being two-dimensional in a movie and the time-space being 3D, 3D. That's the only difference. You forget about, when you're in a movie, you forget about the film. You don't think they're just individual film frames. You forget about the projector, the entire theater, the fact, the, even the actors. You, you start recognizing the actors as, the, as, as that character. Right? You enjoy the movie experience, just like 3D reality. Only we forget it's just a projection of our consciousness. In 3D, we forget entirely that it's a projection. At least in a movie, in the back of our minds, we know it's still just a movie. But we just don't bring it up to our conscious awareness at that time so we can enjoy it. Same here. If in the back of your mind, you know that, that 3D reality is just a movie, just your projection, then you can enjoy it. Where you can enjoy the hell out of it, as Neil Donald Walsh says. God says that through Neil Donald Walsh, right? 3D reality, enjoy the hell out of it. You can enjoy it because it's just a projection, right? That's what we're trying to get to today, guys. That's what we're going to move you to, right? What's real and what's an illusion depends on what aspect of reality of all that is that you desire to experience, right? The, the, Part of all that is that you experience is reality to you. The part that isn't, that you don't experience is an illusion. So it's both real and an illusion, depending on your perspective, depending on your viewpoint, depending on what you identify with, depending what version of yourself you occupy, depending on what reality you decide to create. That's powerful, right? Everything is real and illusion depending on what you believe and identify with. That's movie magic in your own life. That's big. So remember, you are the actor. You are the star in your own movie in which you choose the script, you write, you direct, you produce, you act in, and you project the entire movie experience. In fact, you are the projector. That's big, right? Everybody else are extras in your movie of your life. Everybody else, you, we pay so much attention to what other people think or what other people are doing. They're just extras. 
Do you ever see any, anybody paying attention to extras in a movie? Not really. Not really. It's the stars, although you need them for the movie, right? So when you react to events in your life or ask, why me? You are implying that the circumstances are independent of you as the observer of your movie, right? What if you were sitting in a movie that you directed, that you know, you put together, you were the producer, the writer, you picked the script, everything. You even bought the projector. And then you're just starting to say, well, that projector must be crappy. What a terrible movie. You wrote it. You did everything. That's what you're doing in your life when you're reacting. Hear this, right? Just like the movie is not separate from the projector and projection, you're not separate from your experience. Just like the movie and the, just like the movie is not separate from the projector and projection, you are not separate from your experience, from the events of your life. They are streamed through your consciousness, through your beliefs, through your thoughts. Wow, through your inner world. That's powerful. The 3D movie screen of your life reflects only what you project. Hear this. The 3D movie screen of your life the 3D movie screen only reflects what you project. You project it all. You do it all. You are not independent of it. Change the projection and you change your life. Change what you're projecting consciousness. You change, change it to intention, thoughts, and beliefs, right? It's only your belief, only your belief of the, the, that the apparent solidity and continuity that makes it appear fixed and unchangeable. It's only your belief of, <laughs> I've got a few words there, of the apparent solidity and continuity that makes it appear fixed and unchangeable. It's only your belief that it appears fixed, only that you believe that it feels like one continuous event in your life, right? That makes it appear, appear fixed and unchangeable and dense. Right? Don't try to change the screen, and that's what we do a lot. We like to change, try to change the effects and move the effects around. Struggle against the people, events, and circumstances. That's like going up to the screen and trying to change the screen, trying to change the movie by changing the screen. Right? Choose, the, choose a new film role. We've talked about that before. When you chill, hear this, when you chill and relax, when you start letting source energy flow through you, and you start chilling and relaxing and stop pushing against the 3D world, stop pushing against the screen, and you slow down the movie frames, the, the, you slow down the movie frames of 3D reality, you master reality as a con conscious creator. Right? Remember, when you relax and chill, you're slowing down the frames. Right? You're understanding what you're creating. And you're letting consciousness now flow through you. You're letting, you're letting, you're letting that, all that is, source energy flow through you. That's how you master, that's how you become a conscious creator and a, mas and a master of your reality, right? Relax, slow down. It, it, it's, it, it's the analogy of slowing down the movie frames in a projector, right? That, that, that you can see what's going on. You can connect with that awareness. You can connect with all you are, right? That's how to stop reacting and start creating with a powerful analogy. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos, that's how we get our message up. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com, or write me at info at BeSomethingWonderful.com. Guys, what I'm doing now is, if you write me and you have questions, specific questions, what I recommend is posting your questions on the channel on the, in the comment section of one of the videos. And then I'll post it on the BSW community board. Because the community board, every, all the conscious creators then can answer them. They, it's got, got to a point now, a great point, I'm delightful about it, that I'm receiving so much email that I, it's impossible now to catch up on them. <laughs> Nothing's impossible, but I think it's better to kind of put the questions out there to the community. If you have a specific question that's delicate and that, and that is private, send that and then I'll reframe it into a general question and then post it on the BSW community board if that's more comfortable for you. Okay, guys, this is Tom with great love, with Be Something Wonderful. See you soon.